Alright, hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi and in this video today, I'm going to be going over five ways to vastly improve Capital Supremacy. Now, obviously Capital Supremacy is the newest game mode to Star Wars Battlefront 2 and I've been playing it an absolute ton since the last update. For those of you that aren't familiar with Capital Supremacy yet, it's basically a large scale game mode that is non-linear. So there's multiple attacking objective points and then there are multiple phases as well. That bit is kind of similar to GA but obviously without being linear. Now, there are a few things that I have noticed since I've been playing that I really would like improved or changed or tweaked a little bit that could make the game mode even better than it already is. It's a lot of fun and the new reinforcements in the game mode make it great, but I think it could still be better. So I'm going to discuss five things now that I think could be improved for Capital Supremacy. Now, the first thing is probably the biggest one that needs to be addressed, and that is bug fixes. There are multiple bugs that came along with this update that definitely hinder Capital Supremacy, and if they were to be eliminated, it could definitely be a huge improvement. Those of you that keep up with the Battlefront community and the news updates, you will know that the AI that were originally in Capital Supremacy were making the matches 32 versus 32, which left 12 AI players on each team. This was quite good. It gave you something to shoot at or destroy while you were waiting for other enemies to pop up because the map is quite large. So when you're on the ground phase of it, there was supposed to be 12 AI per team and now there's none. They've pretty much removed them because they found that this is what was causing another bug. So they've taken them out of the game. If they can fix this and get the AI back into the game mode, I think it will definitely be a change for the better because I kind of enjoyed having those AI there to shoot at. It made it feel more like an actual war zone on the battlefront and it was really fun to play. And now 20 versus 20, it tends to be a little bit of running around before you actually find an enemy. Now fixing the AI will also fix the spawn screen glitch. Apparently, according to the devs, this is what was causing the spawning glitch was the actual AI in the game mode. So if they can fix this, they'll fix not being able to spawn in at the start of around. I've seen a ton of people complain about this glitch. You load into a game of Capital Supremacy, you've got two full teams of players ready to go and nobody can spawn into the match. This hinders the performance of the game mode. Obviously it creates a bad rap for the game mode as well and it's going to have people not wanting to play it if this keeps happening. I'm really hoping they can get a hotfix out as soon as possible that sorts all this out because we don't want to be losing players from this game mode for those of us that do enjoy it and want to have full rounds every time we load in. The third bug that has popped up, I've seen a fair few people complain about this as well, is the new ARC Trooper loading in with only one blaster. Now, for those of you that haven't seen this, the ARC Trooper does dual wield pistols and he's been loading in occasionally with one blaster pistol and he's holding it with two hands. I don't know if this is some kind of bug or it's something crossing over on something else that they're working on, but it definitely needs to be fixed because people running around with that one blaster are at a huge disadvantage. It feels weird. It looks weird. It's just a whole bunch of a big mess. So if they can fix that as well, it'll be a big improvement. The number two two thing that I think they could improve with Capital Supremacy doesn't necessarily rely around the mode, but it relies around the BX Commando Droid. The BX Commando Droid's blaster is very weak. I think it does need a little bit of an improvement or a little bit of a buff. The aim is quite good, the range is good, but the damage output is a little bit too low. You have to really land headshots if you want to take out enemies, and if you come up one-on-one -on -one against an ARC Trooper, you're probably not going to be able to take them out unless you are at very close range and you can hit them with the Vibro Sword. Even with the Vibro Sword, Sword, though I've seen a lot of quite skilled arc troopers rolling around it and dodging me so there can be a lot of damage done with pistols that doesn't give you much opportunity to take them out with your e5 blaster while you wait for that one or two second recharge on the vibro sword as short as that may seem that is a lot of time for an arc trooper to get those shots off on you and it's going to end up in you dying nine times out of ten so unless you can land really clean headshots with the bx commando droid this definitely needs improving and it's something that I would like to see at least considered in a future update the third thing on the list that I want to talk about is a round timer. Now, those of you that have been playing Capital Supremacy know that these games can go for a really, really long time. I've been subject to this a few times. I was on stream the other day and I said, all right, we'll play one more round. I'd already been streaming for three hours and I ended up going for four and a half because the final round of Capital Supremacy that I played was over an hour long. So this does tend to be a little bit of a grind. It's really draining when you're playing it. You want to switch sides. You want to play the opposite faction every half an hour or so at least. So it's pretty much when you get to this point and you're an hour and a half into a round, you kind of just want the match to end. You want to switch factions or you want to jump off, but you don't want to leave before getting that credit payout. So you guys, it needs to be a little bit shorter, maybe a 45 minute max, even an hour I'd probably be able to consider, but I think a timer for the round definitely needs to be considered. It's much too long and it doesn't give you the payout that you would need necessary that makes it worth playing for. Yes, the game mode's a lot of fun 
Yes, the rounds are intense and they're always constant action, but I think there should definitely be a timer on it. They've got a timer in Hero Showdown, so I'm sure they could somehow transfer that into Capital Supremacy and just up the timeage to like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And I think that would definitely solve the problem of these rounds going for way too long. I know some of you guys like the long rounds, but personally, I'm not a big fan. I think it definitely should be limited. Speaking of how long the rounds are going for, I'm going to talk about the fourth point now, which is the credit payout. For those of us that are playing hour, hour and a half, two hour long rounds of Capital Supremacy, the credit payout is nowhere near what it should be. I think it should be much higher. I would happily play an hour to an hour and a half for 2000 credits, but that's not what we're getting. We're playing an hour and a half for like 950 credits. It's not even close to worth it. I could go an hour and a half in Galactic Assault. I could probably play six or seven rounds and get a ton of credits from doing that. It's almost like 800 to 900 credits per round of Galactic Assault, which takes 10 to 15 minutes. So if I'm doing that in a game of Capital Supremacy, I'm getting one round in an hour and a half and I'm getting the same amount of credits as one to possibly two rounds of Galactic Assault, depending on how well you go. So I think the credit payout is something they need to look at. I've seen a lot of new players complaining about it that have downloaded it and gotten this new update and they've said, oh, I'm trying to get credits, but playing Capital Supremacy is just a little bit too slow on the credit payout, especially if people want to unlock the new skins and get the things like that. I know a lot of people are actually keen on Dooku's pajamas, which is quite funny, but I think they definitely need to consider upping the credit payout for Capital Supremacy. Now, the fifth and final thing on this list is probably one of the biggest things that I can see hindering the game mode right now, and it's been a very large talking point in the community as well, and it is more maps. Now, if we could get more maps into Capital Supremacy, it would be absolutely fantastic. And I'm not saying, oh, it should have had more maps when it dropped, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not me. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying in the future, I would love to see more maps for this game mode. There's been a huge outrage on Twitter and Reddit and all that saying, oh, they've been working on this for so long. Why couldn't they give us more maps? I'm not too fussed. I think the Capital Supremacy map that they have now on Pipeline Junction West is really fun. And the inside of the Capital ships is my favorite part of all of it. Personally, I would love to see more maps added to this game mode in the future. I could think of some really cool maps on Scarif. I could think of maps on Hoth, Jakku. There are plenty of maps with options that could do it. You could even get it going on Kashyyyk and things like that. There are so many different options for maps you could put it on Naboo. These maps would be fantastic for Capital Supremacy. You could essentially add it to any map, but I would really love to see some maps that aren't already in the game added to this, which is why I mentioned Scarif first, because we know we need some Rogue One DLC. I know there's a lot of you guys crying out for that as well, because I would love to see that personally. I would love to see some new heroes as well, like Jin and Krennic, but that's not what this video is about. We're talking about Capital Supremacy. So new maps to this game mode would be the fifth and final thing I would put on this list. So just to wrap up, the five things Things were bug fixes, so fixing all the AI, the spawn screen glitch, and the ARC Troopers 1 blaster, the buff to the Commando Droids blaster, which would just improve him that little bit more and make him a bit more viable against the ARC Troopers, the round timer that would shorten the length of rounds so you're not sitting there for two hours playing the same faction the whole time, a credit payout being increased so that you're not playing an hour and a half and only getting 800 credits, and finally, new maps to the game mode. I think all five of these things would improve capital supremacy in a big way, and I would love to see all of them fixed and changed in the future. If I had to pick one thing out of this list that I would want more than anything, it's probably the bug fixes, but after that, it would be the new maps. Keeping the game mode fresh and interesting would be great. I think they've made the issue with extraction when they added that, only having one map for a while and then adding a second, but then leaving it alone. I would love to see this have five, six, seven maps like Galactic Assault on rotation. That would be incredible if they could get up to that range with the new game mode. Anyways, that's it for me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what kind of things you would change to improve capital supremacy and if your opinions match mine or if they don't. I would definitely love to hear about it down in the comments so make sure you drop them down there and if you did like this video leave a big thumbs up on it as well. Let's try and go for 400 likes on this video. As always thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you guys tonight with another live stream. I'll catch you all there. May the force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. Oh, no match for me.